great. Um, it's going here, and I usually would be in Nerf videos or Rubik's Cube. I know it's a very different, weird combo, but uh, this is when I figured out how to do live YouTube videos, and they're very nice. So, um, I got a very cheap Rubik's Cube at Dollar Tree, uh, and I will be doing a comparison tomorrow because I ordered another cube on Amazon. It is a 2x2, two two, but this is a 3x3. Three as you can see there, it is a very cheap cube as it was from Dollar Tree. So I have some scissors to get this open. So, uh, yeah, let's start and see if I don't accidentally cut the cube. So, got a little bit of it. Trying to get it. And I, it's kind of tough here. Um... So there are a few parts of the cube that are just difficult to get open uh, due to plastic. Now I'm sorry, I'm not good at special effects or anything, so it might just take me a minute. Alright, here's a hole that I got. So a crack in the cube always means better things, because now I can just get this freely open. Here's the cube. Oh wow, it actually spins very nicely. Uh, I don't know if it, no, you can't, it won't, alright, that is, oh man, that locks, that locks hard, alright, let's see if you can corner cut, no, you cannot, but it's an okay cube if you, like, doing some dumb stuff, alright, solve the front side, um, but yeah, it's an okay cube, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, mm. It's not bad, just solved it. Um, it's a very, very simple cube. I, I like it. I mean, it's a good starter cube. One problem is... <coughs> Dude, that's, that's super hard. Um, but this is just the cube I got. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you watch this at the end, because I will not be giving... I will not be doing any giveaways or anything. I am sorry for that. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!